In this video, I wanted to cover something that I haven't talked about. I wanted to kind of do a two-in-one video, um, just kind of a meta update, if you will, uh, for the month of October. Obviously, we're in ladder play for the uh, Ultimate Thanksgiving Tournament, so a lot of pros are competing at a very high level. And I just want to give you two quick tips um, that are going to kind of encompass the current, actually three, uh, that are going to kind of incurrent, uh, encompass the current meta. If you want to learn uh, how to do these at a really high level, a little bit more in depth and how to do these within a format of a scheme, make sure you're in our Patreon because we posted this stuff in the Patreon, I think a month and a half ago. Uh, Patreon members get access to all eBooks, all updates to eBooks, as well as any like conceptual tips that we will release as well. Um, so if you want to become a Patreon member, we have 13 offensive and defensive eBooks uh, as of today. And we pretty much add to that. There's new content in the Patreon every week. Whether it be a new ebook, a new tip, a new concept, Patreon members get access to everything. So if you want to sign up for it, 10 bucks gets you access to all of it. The link's in the description. But I wanted to do a quick meta update that's going to encompass a couple things. The first thing is Freeform. I haven't talked about this um, because honestly, I'm not an expert on this at all. And I didn't come up with this, okay? Um, but basically, this is the deal with Freeform. So the settings you want to be on. Um, the settings that you want to, well, the settings that most pros are on is basically this pass. This is what I've been using. Um, and this is the, I'm, again, I'm not perfect with Freeform. Um, I'm not really like an expert, but this is what I heard to use. And this is what I've been using and it's been okay. Okay. Uh, passing type is placement and accuracy. Passing slowdown is off. Freeform reticle max distance is on near. Freeform reticle speed is going to be on 2020. And then I have these both as visible. Some people actually turn these off completely. Um, I might try it just with turning it off, but maybe I'll do that later. But anyway, this right here is kind of the main or the best freeform settings in the game uh, that I'm aware of. So what you'll see with freeform, and you'll notice it probably the most on a corner route. So you'll see here, like if I come out in a corner route uh, play, uh, and I just run this corner route to Godwin, you'll see that I can hold left trigger to freeform and pass lead that down and outside. And because it's on near, I'm gonna be able to uh, kind of always have the ability to at least try to catch it, right? I'm not, I, I still overthrow some with freeform to be honest with you. Um, but generally speaking, this has been pretty effective, okay? So until someone tells me or I learn otherwise, I would be using this, okay? The second thing that I want to talk about is coaching adjustments. Uh, so coaching adjustments, offense, we're going to leave all of them on balance. On defense, here's what you want to do. Um, ideally, uh, some of it is formation dependent, but this is kind of what I'm rocking with right now. Auto flip is going to be on. Auto alignment's on default. You could put this on base align. There's actually a ton of value in base align this year. Um, even in just coming out in base align and then unbase aligning based off of wherever they're at on the field, right? Um, this is this is a pretty decent little thing. So um, if you you know most formations, I think should start base aligned, and then from there you can kind of adjust them how you want to. But you don't have to. That's just something I like. Ball and air defense play receiver play receiver. Why do you want this on play receiver? Because ag catching is really 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 good. So what you want to do is you want to put this on play receiver. And you want to not click on to the player when they throw an ag. So if it's one on one and they're throwing it to a big bodied receiver, don't click on. Okay, you might try clicking on one time, and if they're consistently agging you, don't click on. Okay, uh, cornerback matchups on balance, option defense on conservative, strip balls on balance, tacklings on balance, zone drops. Um, what I've found with zone drops is they aren't that good. Uh, they're really not that great. The only way that zone drops are really decent is if you back off your players, right? Um, pressed cloud flats are terrible in this year's game. So until this changes, these pretty much I never use these. If I did, you would want these on 30, these on 0 or 5, and these on 0 or 5. Another cocktail would basically be put these on 0 or 5 and put these on 30. That's not that bad because curl flats are oftentimes dropping from the safety position. So that's going to help in terms of getting them to drop deeper. The most important thing is zone coverage on match. Even if you're not going to play match quarters or match palms like we teach you to in the Patreon, um, you, you still want this on match because the zones will play better when they're on match. Okay? 
So there's that. Um, and then I wanted to talk about two other things, and they're both offensive tips. So the first one is just kind of a simple thing. Um, it's actually not just offense. But whenever you're breaking away, you're in a breakaway and you're trying to get your guy to, like, you're just trying to run as fast the end zone as you can. What you want to do is this. So I'm going to run commit to kind of illustrate it. But basically, um, well, I guess I'm not. Um, essentially, it's like you see here, he's he's running away. So when you're in this position right there, like, there's no ball carrier move necessarily for you to do. So what you want to do is you want to um, basically do this. You're going to, let me just go to verticals. Um, you're going to essentially spam the RB button, okay? And what you're going to see is it's going to essentially switch the ball in. This was something in Madden 20 that was really good. And, and basically what it means is you're going to run faster, okay? You're going to get a little bit of a speed boost by doing that. So, um, you know, again, it's not like a break the bank tip, but something that I've been meaning to talk about for forever and I just haven't gotten around to talking about it. So that's a great way, um, you know, to break away. And again, it's 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 primarily um, offensive. But let me see if I can like kind of try to tee this up for you guys. Um, you know, but let's say, you know, let's say they do this. Let me try to let me try to throw a pick. Um, but basically, you can do it on defense as well. So like, um, you you'll see here. I'll just throw it up. And then, oh crap, I <laughs> clicked on the wrong player. Um, but anyways, you can do this on both sides. So, you know, you can also do this on kickoffs if you want to. I don't know that that's necessarily the greatest place to do this on. Um, you know, but you'll see here. So like, well, I guess there's play receiver for you. But anyways, you can do it on both sides. You're just, all you're doing is you're going to spam uh, right RB and it's going to give you a little bit of a speed boost. Okay. So that is something that I, again, I've been meaning to talk about, just haven't gotten around to talking about it. Um, let me show you another thing real quick. If your opponent is shading over top, which most of the time they're either going to be not shading at all or they're going to be shading over top. If they're shading over top, you if you have set feet lead, you can throw this wheel route out here to the uh, goblin. You could do this with other routes as well, but you're just going to free form outside pass lead. You see there, and then if you want to try to get that speed burst again, you can do something like that. Okay. Last thing is ag catching is really, really powerful. You probably knew that, but I wanted to remind you. So if you see a receiver one-on-one, -on -one, you're going to highball it by holding LB, click on the receiver, and you're going to basically jump up and try to make a play. You're going to click on, you're going to try to get positioning, if you will, and, and, and you'll be able to get, oftentimes you'll be able to get pretty good positioning. Um, you know, and then you're just going to do this little ag catch. So the way you ag, ag is holding triangle on PS5 or Y on Xbox. And you can also do this. Um, you can also do this with wheel routes. Okay. So not just throwing them quick, but we can highball them. And a lot of times you're going to get really nice catching animations with wheel routes. You can do this from formations like bunch, but you can also do this from formations like um, tight. You can also go to like a spread set. You could literally go to spread four verticals. And what you're going to do is you're going to wait until the defender basically turns uh, his hips to run with him. And then you're just going to high ball and you see how effective this can be. So if you go into practice mode, try it, practice it. You can get pretty good at this. If they're playing one-on-one -on -one coverage, it's really, really effective. The way you counter high balls, again, play receiver. The second thing you want to do, though, is you want to play, uh, you want to go to cover on robber, and you want to put both safeties in a deep half, and then you're going to basically use her in the middle of the field. What you'll notice now is if I try to throw this ag catch uh, on the left side, it's nowhere near as effective. Obviously, I have double me on me, but it's not, it's not going to be anywhere near as effective. So, again, cover, I think cover and robber is the best because it already has a, a coverage that's an advantage. And so what you'll see here, let me try to wait on this a little bit more. But you just need two defenders in the area. So you see there, knocks it up, and then you're going to be able to make play. Last two things I want to, or last thing I want to talk about in this kind of like little update. Again, if you want to get all my ebooks, make sure you're in the Patreon. Link is in the description if you want to sign up for that. But abilities you should check out. Under pressure, probably the most overpowered ability this year. If you're going to blitz, having under pressure is really, really effective. Inside shade is on your on your nickel corner is really good. 
um, for defending any kind of slot receiver route. But an ability that's super underrated right now is Pick Artist. Why Pick Artist is effective is because of Pick Artist, it's going to basically make it easier for you to catch your interceptions. And when they make bad reads, you're going to have a chance. The other thing that's really nice about Pick Artist is it can't help slow down some of these aggressive catches. It's the only ability in the game next to like a medium route KO or a deep route KO that can actually kind of activate and give you a chance uh, in some of these some of these some of these situ- situations. So that is kind of our update or a little update um, for the month of October. If you guys like this video, uh, let me know. I'll do another one for November. Uh, but just kind of wanted to give you guys a quick update on just kind of some of the ways that Meta is going. And also want to encourage you if you want to get uh, stay up to date on everything, get all the ebooks, all of that stuff. Our Patreon members have known about this stuff for a little while. So make sure you're in the Patreon um, if you want to check all that stuff out. The link is in the description to sign up. It's only $10 to become a member. You're going to instantly get access to 13 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as several tips and, um, of course, any new stuff that comes out as well. We drop new stuff there every single week. So make sure to become a Patreon member today. Uh, the link is in the description if you want to sign up. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll see you at the Patreon page.